principally, there is one reason why your check engine light is on, and it's because of tailpipe emissions. Let's talk about it. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. The check engine light is also called a mill light. Mill, M-I-L, which stands for malfunction indicator light. So when a malfunction is detected by the computer system, then what is called a DTC is set. DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code. So malfunction is detected. DTC is set so whenever the DTC is set the mill light or check engine light is commanded on now what we need to understand is that there are different classes of DTC class A class B class C and class D but not all of them will cause the mill light or check engine light to turn on because not all of them adversely affect emissions now let's break down the different codes of DTC a uh, class A DTC will result in the immediate illumination of the check engine light. For example, a misfire or dead misfire will cause the, the mill light to flash. You're going to have a flashing check engine light on the dash and this is very dangerous because that can damage the catalytic converter because you're going to have a lot of hydrocarbon going under the catalytic converter, you know, going through the catalytic converter that will cause it to overheat. You don't want that. So if you ever see your check engine light flashing, it's time to, to find a, a safe place to park because it's not safe to drive this vehicle because that can result in further damage. A class B code is a code that also affects the vehicle's emissions, right? But when that fault is detected for the first time, it does not result in the immediate illumination of the check engine light. It can be set as pending. So check engine light is still off, but you know, there's a malfunction in the system, but the system is going to monitor it again and test it again to see if it's going to set. But that kind of code also affects emissions, right? It's emissions related, but it's not going to turn on the, the, the check engine light immediately. It's gonna set as a depending code and it's gonna test the system again. If that same fault happens again, then it'll set the check engine light. Now we are at class C codes. Class C codes do not adversely affect the vehicle's emissions. It does not. But depending on the make and model, depending on the manufacturer, this code may use a different light. For example, service engine soon light. It may not use the check engine light to set that code. It'll use a different light, not the check engine light. But this depends on the manufacturer. But most of the time, you're gonna have a different light for this kind of code. Class D DTCs, last ones. They do not adversely affect the vehicle's emissions and they do not also cause the check engine light to illuminate. So you're gonna have these kinds of codes, but you're not gonna have a check engine light either. Right now, in this bourbon, I have lots of codes. I have a laundry list of codes. But a lot of these codes, they do not affect emissions. In fact, none of them affect emissions. That's why I don't have a check engine light on. I'm gonna show you the list. See, right now the truck is running, no check engine light is on. The only light that I have on is, I have the seat belt light and then the TPMS sensor light. I got two bad sensors. Uh, I almost have 200,000 miles on this thing. So uh, for demonstration, I can try to create a dead misfire on this. I'm gonna disconnect the coil and you're gonna see this um, the check engine light it's going to flash. Let me go do that. I'm not gonna let it run for too long. It's running like crap. I'm gonna give it some acceleration. It's I got a coil. I created a dead misfire here. The coil is completely disconnected. Give it more fuel. Well, it's idling, it probably doesn't see it. There we go. It's flashing immediately. That's, that's a class A DTC. Plug the coil back in. See, malfunction is not detected. Then the check engine light is off. This doesn't mean we don't have a code in the scanner. So let's take a look at the things that we have in the scanner. Look at that, I did an auto scan. I hope I can focus here. 
I did an auto scan. Look at the things here. Engine control module. It's gonna be for misfire. Look at that. Misfire detected. So. So we know that we created this. So these are the codes. So these are the codes that cause that, you know, check engine light to flash. But look at in body control module. I got like 15 codes. And I deleted these codes already. And they came back. I deleted them I think a month ago. And they came back. So these codes affect emissions. I mean do not affect emissions, I'm sorry. These are class D DTCs. So now rain sensor malfunction. And there's another one here, license plate. I do have la have a license plate that's no good. Um it detected that. Got a license plate light that's burnt. So even though it says here it's it passed it, it not really. It's just it's still it's still bad. And um and look at this. This does not affect the missions, then you're not gonna have a mill light. Let me show you that license plate light. I'm in the back. One plate light, no good. One's good. The other, no good. <laughs> so it's proven. I got one that's no good. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. And I hope you learned something today. If you learned something, share it with somebody else that you think will benefit from this. And um, just give it a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Pair up, pair out. Bye bye.